Welcome to Ultimate Survival Gear. Today, as you guys can see, for the first time on this channel, I have something from Garment. Let's open up the box and see what we got, because these are tactical military combat boots from Garment, cold T8 NFS 670 lightweight combat boots. Yes, check this out very very popular option on amazon i have to say with over 3100 five star reviews yes very very impressive currently 115 dollars the amazon link is in the description below now if you are new to this channel you haven't watched any of my videos any of the reviews i gotta tell you this is not a regular boot review this review is specifically for my ultimate survival boot section yes basically something bad happened and uh well if you're buying this boots i mean these are tactical military combat after all you kind of have that survival situation in mind whether you have to walk for extended periods of time run fight on the way obviously combat right going through different terrains if something like that ever happened would these be good for your survival how do we make the judgment we make the judgment based on eight different criteria let's begin with the criteria number one comfort level and in order to test the comfort level of all the boots and shoes that i review on this channel i do a three mile run non-stop and then a five mile walk no pauses in between and then i continue wearing the boots for the rest of the day so that the total wear time is eight hours and i have to say these are pretty impressive whenever it comes to the comfort level there are a few factors that contribute to that comfort level and also take away let's start with the first one of course is the weight now i have to say this is very very lightweight for the size for the outsole for the quality of the rubber on the outsole we will talk about all of that later but if i had to estimate i would say about 16 ounce let's see if i'm close this is size 10 and there it goes, ready now, let's see, 18.5, 18.5, that was two and a half ounce off, not too shabby, I have to say, pretty impressive for everything that these boots do provide. Uh, now, another thing that uh, contributes to the comfort level would be, of course, the flexibility of the outsole. And here, as you can see, it's very flexible, even though the quality of the rubber is good. It's very, very tough rubber. We'll talk about that in better detail in the outsole section. But for the flexibility of the outsole, it's very, very good. So you can definitely run properly in this boot. So if you're getting these for rocking, you're going to definitely appreciate this. Let's move on to the inner sole now. Let's try to uh, take it out and... Uh show you see if I, there we go i gotta say the inner sole is really really good on these boots first of all this is ortholite yes ortholite the very very popular and i would say one of the best um, inner soles that you can get basically it's the moisture wickering technology that is implemented in the inner sole the special kind of fabric if you're you know you're running obviously you, you're rocking right it's hot and you know moist and you're getting you know, sweaty in your feet what this basically inner sole does, it, it does not allow for the bacteria to spread and kind of absorbs the moisture. Very, very good. But besides that, you also have here a very, very decent, very defined um, heel bed, very defined R support. And overall, whenever it comes to cushioning, it is really, really nice. More accented cushioning here in the heel. So if you are running and you're getting tired and now you're putting more stress on your heels, there you go, you have some impact protection. But let's move on to the padding. Now, not much of the padding in the shaft itself because I mean, this was designed to kind of save weight and padding adds weight, but you do have a little bit of the padding here in the tongue. We will talk about the tongue later. As you can see, it is gusseted, which is a little bit strange, but we will talk about that later. Just, just stick around. I'll tell you why it is strange. But going throughout the whole boot in the toe box, there is no padding. Keep that in mind. All right. So overall, whenever it comes to the comfort level, I think Garmin did a great job. But let's move on to the criteria number two now, proofing and protection. Now, proofing wise, these are now waterproof and uh, you probably already noticed the drainage vents that are over here. And uh, I have to say, I do like the drainage vents. Uh, it's, it, it definitely does help. 
um, you know, in a non-waterproof boot because the idea is if you are, you know, if it's not waterproof boot, and even if it is a waterproof boot, you're, you're crossing the creek, you're crossing the river, and something is more, you know, the, 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 the water level is higher than the clearance that you have in the shaft for waterproofing, you know, the water is gonna get in regardless. But with stuff like this that is not waterproof, when you, where you have the drainage vents, this water obviously leaves the boot pretty quickly and now the boot gets the uh, chance to dry up much faster because you have the ventilation. And here these drainage vents actually, unlike a lot of, I mean, that I just recently reviewed, I have to say, unfortunately, that are like there for looks but really don't serve any purpose. Here in this boot, they actually do work and you can see my finger there. You can barely see it, but yes, you can you can see through this thing. This is a real drainage vent. So Garmin did a great job. The only thing I don't really kind of uh, understand that much is why they implemented the gusseted tongue. Just because it, it, it kind of creates a little bit more bulkiness to the boot. It definitely adds the weight and you don't really need that gusseting because this is a non-waterproof. Obviously, if you're going through like the muddy water and stuff, this is good because the mud is not going to get in, the sand is not going to get in, you know, you have a little bit more protection. But I think this is just a little bit overkill on the fabric for that particular purpose. But still, proofing wise, pretty good. Let's move on to the protection. Now the toe, it's not it's not reinforced, don't, don't, don't get me wrong. It's not composite toe, it's not a steel toe. Don't drop anything on your toe. But regardless, because of the leather, because of the quality of the leather, you do have, uh, you know, durable material protecting your uh, toes. Now, obviously the shaft, there's not much because this is still thin, there is no padding. Uh, heel the same way and the outsole, we will talk about it in greater detail later, but the quality of the rubber is really, really nice on the outsole, so it provides great protection. But let's move on to the criteria number three, quality and the design features. Quality-wise, like I said, Amazon link in the description below. Check out the reviews, people do like these boots quite a lot. 3,100 plus five star reviews yes very very impressive and i mean i see it, it it's you can tell the quality is great uh, the only thing that is kind of iffy is like this glue like hanging around throughout the pretty much the whole thing so the glue is visible <laughs> i mean honestly that's not something you know if you're a manufacturer that's not something that you want to display but you know sometimes practicality it beats the looks and you know okay glue sticking out or something sticking out whatever if it lasts me you know five years I don't care about some little glue, whatever, no big deal. But you be the judge to that. Let's move on to the design features. Here I talk about the lacing system. Here we have the flat, very long. I mean, these are super long, so you have plenty of string. Flat strings, I'm not a fan of those, but they're mostly used to save on weight. And I kind of understand they wanted to save some weight. Now there are four um, closed rings, as, as you can see here, four pairs. There is one kind of a unique uh, setting the, uh, you know, a separate kind of uh, section of, you know, lacing system. Honestly, I don't see the purpose of that that much. And then there are four um, close hooks. Now, something like this, obviously, if you're, you know, if you're getting it for training, for military training or something like that, law enforcement, police academy, uh, you already know that the stuff like this, it takes forever to put on and take off. So if you do want to upgrade that kind of system, I definitely recommend Side zip, yes, if you find something like this with a side zip, you're gonna definitely appreciate it much more just because it's faster to put it on and uh, take it off. Not a big deal if you're used to it, but because this is a survival boot and obviously in a survival situation, you're not always wearing a boot, right? Something bad happens unexpectedly. So you have to be prepared. And if you have to put this in a crazy situation, in a survival situation, well, be prepared to spend like five minutes putting them on putting them on. Obviously, I'm dramatizing everything for the review, but you get the point. Let's move on to the criteria number four now, outsole traction and stability. Now, I have to say, this is where this boot really, 
really shines. Usually whenever it comes to military combat, tactical boots, outsole is just, you know, it's too flat most of the times because it's designed more to be like oil slip resistant and, you know, more for flat, shiny surfaces or for sandy surfaces. This is very, very versatile. There's a decent amount of flatness, but there's some really, really aggressive patterns on this thing. So slippery. You know, whenever I do my run and my walk, I do it on a variety of different surfaces. Slippery stuff like wet grass, this handles very, very well. And I also appreciate these little ridges over here if you're climbing the rope, although I would like them a little bit more to the side, but still, they do help. Overall, outsole is fantastic. And I have to say, it is, I mean, the quality of the rubber is really, really nice. So Garmin definitely did go out on this outsole. They did not save uh, on this outsole and you can definitely tell. Let's move on to the criteria number five now, temperature really quickly. Obviously this is a hot weather boot, you know, for winter. I'm not even gonna talk about winter, makes no sense. These are now waterproof. You have vents right here. So yeah, don't even bother. But three season, no problems. In the hot summer days, very nice, very breathable, obviously, because you have the real vents, unlike a lot of other boots that have these and they don't do nothing. This is legit vents right here. So breathability wise, very, very good. Let's move on to the criteria number six now, sizing. True to the size, no problems at all. More on the wider toe fit. If you prefer a wider toe box, you're gonna appreciate these. I do recommend getting half a size bigger than your normal shoe size so that you have a little bit of extra space here in the toe box. Just something that kind of adds a little bit to the um, the comfort level overall. You don't want your toe smashing here at the front of the toe box. Let's move on to the criteria number seven now, balance of application. So if this really was your ultimate survival boot, would this be good for your survival? Or would this get you killed? <laughs> okay, so if you are looking for something, you know, specifically this style, military, combat, tactical, no side zip, specifically no side zip. You just don't want that side zip or, or you had a bad experience with side zip. You just don't want it, all right? You're really gonna like these. Okay, another, another criteria, another factor I would add here is non-waterproof. If you're looking for a combat style, non-waterproof, no side zip specifically, you're really gonna appreciate it. These are absolutely fantastic quality, is excellent. The outsole, just the outsole alone kind of sold me on this one because it's super versatile. It's way better than pretty much, well, quite a lot of other stuff. Easily, I would say of all the combat boots that I reviewed on this channel, and I reviewed quite a lot of them, check them out if you haven't seen any of my other reviews. Um, I have to say this is definitely in the top 10, easily easily in the top 10 and just for the fact that the outsole is fantastic the drainage system is operational uh, unlike a lot of other times i cannot tell you how many times i've seen the drainage vents and they either block from the inside or just you know stupid design <laughs> this is legit this is works um comfort level lightness just everything combined quality this is a really, really great option. And let's move on to the criteria number eight here really quickly. The price, $115 currently on Amazon. The link is in the description below. I have to say that's a pretty, pretty decent uh, for something like this. This would be comparable to something like Daener Tekian, maybe, maybe even Daener Tanicus. Um, for what else is there? It's, uh, Oakley, some stuff from Oakley. LT Assault, I think, very, very similar. Uh, what else is there? Uh, for example, Under Armour. Under Armour, they have some, some pretty good stuff. Solomon, they have some pretty good stuff in the combat boots. So this would be comparable and the prices, uh, the stuff that I was naming, you know, okay, Under Armour is a little cheaper. It's like $70, I think, $80. But then the Solomon is more like $150. So uh, this falls in between, I think, very, very, you know, very comfortable pricing, $115. Yes, it's more expensive than some of the boots, but you are getting a better quality outsole, better quality build overall and functional, actually functional system. So I think for the price, it's uh, pretty good. But let me know in the comments below, guys, what do you think? What do you think about this boot? What do you think about this review? If you have any requests for reviews, drop them in the comments below and I will be happy to address them. As always, appreciate your time. Thank you for watching Ultimate Survival Gear. God bless you all. I'll see you guys in the next video.